So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an image replacement technique to display your company logo uh, with an image, but yet still keep some editable text for those search bots, hopefully getting you uh, that infamous number one on your search results, uh, somebody looking for your company. Uh, keep in mind here, uh, this technique that I'm going to show you is one of many ways to do it. Uh, if you're interested in looking at different ways to do it, uh, I do encourage you to go online, check it out, uh, maybe learn something new. Uh, but this way is the one I use on my sites, uh, the one I fancy, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a new HTML document here inside Dreamweaver. I'm going to go ahead and give this a title. Uh, for those of you who have taken classes with me, this is one of the things that I advocate. Always change the title of your document. Don't want to look like a noob. I'm going to call this Image Replacement. Then I'm going to go ahead and save this file. File save. I'm going to call this again image replacement. Image replacement. Whoops, there we go. The first thing we need to do is use the text equivalent for this image and type out here and make this an H2. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the Lumenbright logo, of course. Lumenbright training. I'm going to go ahead and make this into an H2. So down here in the Properties panel, under the Format option, I'm going to select Heading 2. And there we go. To explain how this works, we're going to actually use this H2 tag to create a container. Uh, that container will be um, the basis of our image replacement technique. Then we're going to have another, uh, another container on top of that uh, that will display the picture that we want to swap out with the text. Uh, before we can do that, uh, we just don't need an H2. We need something additional to this. Um, to do that here inside of your code, I'm going to go ahead and add a span tag before the Lumenbright text. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open a bracket there, span, close it, and close the HTML tag as well. So this will be the container on top of the H2 uh, displaying the picture, uh, the company logo if you will, um, and covering the text. We're all set up here code-wise. Let's go and create some styles to complete this. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and go to my CSS panel and create a new rule. This will be a tag style. It's going to be for the H2 tag. This document only. I'm being a little bit lazy here. That's okay. Click OK. And the first thing we want to do is find the width and the height of that image uh, that we're going to be swapping out. Uh, now I don't know this size by memory, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and look in the background image. I'm not going to select it, I just want to find the dimensions of that picture. So here in my background category, under background image, I'll click on the browse button. Uh, look at that, it took me to the images folder already. That's going to be nice. I'm going to select the picture, and in the properties of that picture, you'll see that you get the dimensions uh, of that image. Now if you're on Mac, you'll see it here. Uh, PC, you'll see it on the side. Uh, life is good. Again, I'm not going to select it. I just want to find the dimensions. 203.57. So under my box category, I'm going to type in those values. 203.57. And I'm going to go ahead and create uh, this container as a relative container. Now when you're working with these containers and you have relative and absolute positioning, in order to position the absolute on top of it, you'll need to have one relative to that container. Sounds kind of confusing. It's really not that hard. Uh, all I'm going to do is go to the position category and under position select relative. Boom. I'm going to click OK and you'll see that, oh check that out, there's a container, there's a box. Uh, my text will wrap inside of it. Life is good. Now you could add additional styles to this if you want. If you want to go ahead and make uh, this text fit within the box, make it the color of your company uh, colors. You can do that as well. I'm going to keep it simple here. Just leave it as black and white. Uh, and now I'm going to work by putting the picture inside of it. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go and create a new style. Uh, this is going to be a compound style this time. And it's going to be a, an H2 space span. Now the reason why I'm doing this is that I want to make sure that I only use this span tag inside the H2 uh, so it doesn't affect anything else. Now you definitely want to have a container around the entire banner or top 
header of your site to make this a little bit stronger so you don't affect any other span tag inside your, your document. But I'm going to keep it simple, H2 space span, that's my rule. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply that LumaWrite logo as a background image so I can cover that text. So under my background category, under background image, I'm going to browse for it. There it is. I'm going to select OK. I don't want to repeat it, so I'm going to repeat none. Alrighty. And under my box category, I'm just going to go ahead and put this 100 by 100%. Fills up the width and height of the container. And under positioning, I'm going to select absolute. Click OK, and you'll see, boom, our company logo is right on top of the text. Uh, life is good. If I test it out, hit F12. Of course, when you save that, give it a second. So you'll see there is the image overlapping the text. If I were to turn off the pictures or turn off the styles, you'll see the text displays. Still keeping that editable text for those search bots. Uh, hopefully, again, creating you number one on Google and Yahoo. Now, one last thing, just to make this thing a little bit better. If I wanted to have this navigate to the home page uh, or to a specific location inside your site, very, very simple. Go back to your code. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type this up myself, uh, just the way I am here. I'm going to go ahead and open a link style here and for the href the link I'm going to use the LumenBright website www.lumenbright.com close that up for the ending tag of h2 close that up save test there it is it's an active link click on it Slow internet. Come on. And there you go. So that same technique, you'll notice that I used it up here for our LumaBrite logo. And again, if I turn off the styles, hey, there it is, LumaBrite training, life is good. So hopefully you implement, uh, implement this on your own sites. Uh, just again, remember, reiterate myself here, uh, just wrap your uh, text equivalent of the picture uh, with an H2, put a span tag, uh, I'm going to use the dimension of the H2 as the size of your picture, and then use a span tag as an absolute position container on top of it to hide that text. Now you can't use PNGs because if you have PNGs and transparency, you'd see the text right through. Uh, so that's one technique to do it. Uh, if you have to find something else uh, and it works for you, hey good. Uh, if you want to use this one, by all means, uh, check it out. Uh, try to implement to your sites and happy coding.